think he's going to talk to me about getting serious? Listen to your instincts. If you like each other that much, you already know. Yeah, but sometimes he doubts himself. So do you, girl. Yeah, I know. She's looking at me, but I hope she likes me as, as much as I do with her. Dude, are you sure she's into you? I hope so. No, I know so, because she gave me this note, and she, and she knows how to talk to me, even when I don't know what to say. Dude, chillax. I mean, you know Lucy? She's into you, too. She's foxy. Hey, what's up? But she also uses everyone, and that's sadly creepy. You didn't hear any of that, right? Whatever. Just, just look at her. I don't mind. Now that's just scary, amateur tool. Hey, I'm just saying. You think Lucy is after Charlie? Nah, girl, don't sweat it. She's become a prima donna. Charlie knows it. You two will work things out. Ah, how cute. The boss heard tell about a story about the birds and bees yet? No mixed messages and manipulation, old man. Yeah, we can actually talk to each other, so go back behind your old text and old school Facebook. We're honest with each other. It's true. Is, is he dead? No, he's not dead. He's breathing. Then why won't he wake up? I think he drank some bad water. It made him petrified. Bad magic. Oh, yeah. You think we can handle this magic spell, then? We've helped him before, and this spell is though powerful. We need to try. This is a much bigger task than trying to make a flower grow, Sally. We have to try it. Let's all get in the circle and the hold hands. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Mirror, mirror on the wall. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Watch the magic pumpkin. Watch. Lynn Guardian, Livriosa. Bring around the rosy, on him full of honey. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. The cows are in the meadow, even avocados. Thunder, thunder, they all cry. <sighs> what was that noise? Hey. I don't have a headache. What are you guys doing? We cured your sickness. Yeah, we used magic. Now you'll know not to drink that bad water again. Don't scare us like that again. Yeah, because we love you, Fry. <laughs> Good morning, class. Glad to see you all bright and early to learn. It's too early in the morning for me. Are we going to be watching Johnner Machine again, Mr. White? Not today, kids. That was only a lesson in randomness. Today we're going through a far more mature subject. Maturity? That's part of it, definitely. Kids, welcome to Being an Adult 101. Are we a little young to be going over this? You're never too young to understand the subject, kids. There are three concepts you must understand. For example, What's the best way to not becoming pregnant too early? Getting cooties first? Lame. <laughs> Close. But being careful is probably the best and most accurate answer. Second, what do we need to understand before raising a child or before we find a special someone? All you need is love? Wait, never mind. Oh, I know this, son. My mom says it all the time. It's responsibility. Responsibility. Very good, Marie. Paying your bills, finishing your schoolwork, not acting like a 12-year-old anymore. That stuff. But there's one thing that not even the adults can grasp. How can a person learn to take care of other people when they cannot properly take care of themselves? I don't understand, Mr. White. To put it simply, Danny, a true mature person has to understand as much as possible, at the risk of sounding preachy. However, it won't sound preachy if you make it into a suggestion you have to understand yourself and strive to respect and understand others as much as possible. Love yourself and love others. That's it. But that's so scary. People are scary. Why should I care? 
Because a good person will be good to others. If that person is bad, he or she will be very alone and lost. Genuine honesty, respectability, responsibility, generosity, communication, and compromise all lead to maturity, great friendships, and hopefully great happiness. It's not that hard. Otherwise, you'll end up like this guy. Huh? What did you just say? I'm saying, dear brother, if the children don't grasp all of this, they'll end up like you. What's wrong with me? I had a hard life. Don't you judge me. I'm not judgmental, bro. Only when you do good. Judges judge bad people. At least, kids, we can learn to be judgmental of others who do very stupid things in life. I'm not listening to this. Then why are you here, kiddo? Now that's really scary.